Hi, this is Al Zay Calhoun with CovetedConsultant.com. Today I'm talking about creating a business plan for a consultant. And I'm going to take a specifically different approach on this topic today. Most times, when you talk about business plan, we, 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 we talk about target market, we talk about uh, finance needs, we talk about internal structure, we talk about service offerings, and those things have a place, those things are important. But in most business plan outlines that I see, a very important thing is missing. And that thing that's missing is a plan that acknowledges acknowledges the importance of you, of you as the as the creator of this business, you as the visionary of this business, you as the person who has uh, taken responsibility for crafting what this business is going to be. So today's content is about dreaming and protecting the dreamer. It's important that you understand that if you are the person running this business, then you always have to have full visibility. You can't get distracted by the topic of the day because you've got to always see the big picture. So that begins with learning how to dream. And so here's what that means. Very simply, it means you've got to know what the big picture is. Where are we now? Where are we headed? What's in between thing A and thing B? That is the big picture. Second major thing is you've got to have an execution plan. You've got to have a way to get to get to from to get from point A to point B. You've got to have some method, some process, some philosophy on how to get to the big picture. You also have to have a team. You have to acknowledge early on that you're going to need help and you've got to be specific on the kind of help you need. So that's about learning how to dream. The next major thing is, is you have to appreciate the fact that your dream is going to get attacked each and every day. For example, there are going to be clients that say no to you. And every time you hear the word no, something happens on the inside that makes you a little more nervous about stepping out the next time. It makes, it makes that dream feel a little less, more, a little less realistic. We can't be afraid of clients that say no. We also can't be afraid of the fact that we don't have any clients today. It doesn't matter. If you've got a dream and you've got a picture, it's worth pursuing. You've also got to be careful of disagreeing experts. There will always be someone else who disagrees with you. And some of those people may have more credentials. They may have longer uh, titles behind their name. They may have more experience. They may have more clients and customers. It doesn't matter. If you have a legitimate, realistic, big picture, it's worth pursuing. And you can't, you can't let disagreeing experts talk you out of what you know is a great deal for you and your potential clients. Next thing here is you got to look out for, for personal fatigue. If you build a business that is based around your energy, sooner or later you are going to get tired. And when you get tired, you start making bad decisions. You've got to look out for personal fatigue so that that doesn't become an active attack on that big picture, that big dream that you've built. So now let's move to how to protect that big dream. So first of all, you protect it with processes. There's a way that you go about doing things, and you need to be clear about how you do things. You need to be sure that you understand how you do things, that you can explain it, you can articulate it, you can train people on it, and that there's a literal, literal way that you expect end results to occur. You also have to maintain documentation. When you do something well, when you do something at a high level, you need to write that out. You need to write that down. Write down where you started, write down the process, write down where you finished, and then write down how you expect someone else to do the exact same thing. You've got to commit to documentation. The next way you, you can protect your big dream is get a team. Here we are with that team thing again. You need people in your environment who understand your big picture, your big intention, your big dream, and are willing to defend it with their effort, meaning they're willing to work hard to bring it to life, and they're willing to work hard to cut out all of those things that don't fit in the big picture. There are a lot of business plan uh, methods out there, methodologies, examples, templates, formulas. You need to make sure in the business plan that you create, it protects you and it protects the big picture and the big dream that you're putting forward. If the big dream dies, then your business will die.
You've got to make sure that your plan protects you. If you've enjoyed this content, we've got a lot more available on the website. You can go to www.covetedconsultant.com slash free, and there's a blueprint there that is the bottom line necessary element for any great consulting business.